I hope you're all well. So today we're going to be looking at printable tattoo paper. I am in love with this stuff, it's amazing. So I've got two different types. So the first one I use is the Silhouette Tattoo Paper. Uh, now it's nine pounds on Amazon and you get two sheets with that, which is pretty costly. I mean, I'm not very good with maths, uh, but it's over four pound a sheet, which yes, is expensive. The other tattoo paper I am using is this one from Amazon. It's just A4 printable tattoo transfer paper. You get 10 sheets and it's £20, but that of course works out at £2 a sheet, which is still pretty up there, uh, but £2 versus £4, we shall see if there's a huge amount of difference in them, how you use both of them, we're going to look at them. So both of these I'm using with a inkjet printer uh, and we will be making some transfer tattoos today. So I've got my two tattoo papers here, I've got the silhouette and then I've got the one that I got from Amazon. Both do come with full instructions. So with the silhouette one, you get a piece of kind of cardstock and then you get a acetate film piece. You want to print on the cardstock piece and you want it to be on the glossy side. Again, with the Amazon printable tattoo paper, you get a white sheet and you get a film sheet. Again, you want to print on the white sheet and with this one, you've got a clear white side and then you've got a pattern side. So obviously you want to print on the empty side. So we are in design space and of course, what tattoo do I want? We all know I want a cutie. I love my cuties. So we are going with a cutie tattoo today. So we're just going to insert image. So I'm going to have them exactly the same, one I'm going to do using the silhouette, one I'm going to be using the other uh, tattoo paper, but what I do want to do is I want to actually change him, I want to make him a bit more funky, so I'm going to change the fill to print, and I'm then going to ungroup him, and I'm then going to change the print type to pattern. I'm then going to use pattern fill just to really make him a little bit different. Now if you've never used the pattern fill feature before and you don't know how to upload patterns, I have done a tutorial on this and I will link to it in the description below. So I've got my cutie how I want him, he's a little bit outlandish but that's okay. So I'm just going to highlight him and I'm going to flatten him. So what that will do is it will print him out but it will only cut out his outline. It's not going to come in and cut out all of this. So I've made him three inches. Now I don't want to waste my entire sheet. I want as many tattoos out of it as possible but I also don't want a whole sheet of cuties either. So I'm just going to get some other images and put those into my canvas. I do want to state these are for personal use. They are from a Cricut cartridge. For those of you in the States or Canada, they are available on Design Space. Obviously, the rest of the world, they are not uh, because of licensing. So I'm just going to flatten them and then we can go to make it. Now, the thing with tattoo paper is you have to treat it a little bit like iron-on. So you do want to mirror it. We can then go to continue. I'm using my maker today, but you can use any of your Cricut machines for this. So the first thing we need to do is send to printer. I'm going to use my inkjet. I am going to remove my bleed, that's my personal preference. So bleed is when it's printed out, it looks slightly fuzzy around each of the images. This is just for um, cut errors. Normally it goes away, it's cut out, but I just prefer to have it off. 
and I am going to use my system dialog which allows me to change my printer settings. So we can then go to print. So I want to go to preferences. I'm gonna keep everything up here the same. I'm going to change my media type to photo paper and glossy. The reason I change it is because with some of the printables they can be quite thick. And if I keep my media type on paper, my printer rejects them and it gets stuck and it's just a mess. So if you are working with thicker printable materials, it's worth actually changing the printer settings. I'm also going to change the print quality from standard to high, and I'm going to keep the paper size as A4 and everything else will stay the same. So I can go to OK, and we can then go to print. You then want to leave them to dry. So this one is the Silhouette, and this one is the Amazon one. For anyone that's wondering, my printer is a Canon MG5750. I love this printer, I use it for all my printables, although I am noticing that we've got some lines coming through. So I don't know if the printer head needs cleaning, or maybe it's time to change it. But if I did change it, I would definitely go for another Canon, and I would definitely try and stay within the MG series, because it works great with printable materials. So the method for both of these is the same. So this is the silhouette one and we've got our film sheet. And you'll see along the top of the film is a perforated edge. So you just want to remove the backing paper from that perforated edge. We can then come in and you want to place the film onto your paper as neatly and as straightly as possible and then you just want to push that down. You then want to come in and just peel a little bit of the backing away and again you just want to smooth it down and then you can just peel and just use your fingers to flatten it onto the paper. You then want to come in with your Cricut uh, applicator or fabric brayer as I call it and you want to give it a really good roller this is to remove any air bubbles and to make sure that you transfer the stick of the film onto your image so that is now ready to go and be cut so we've got the Amazon printable tattoo paper here now this film does not have a perforated edge so you have to be a little bit different in the way that you do it. So I actually find it easier just to remove the whole thing at once and then just to come in and place it as accurately as I can before I bring it down and then just bring it straight down onto my printable tattoo paper. Again, you then want to go in with your applicator tool or a scraper and just really give that a good scrape. In fact, even with the silhouette one, I think that I prefer just removing the film all at once and then manually placing it down. I always struggle with trying to do it in sections. I can never do it without getting bubbles in there or without getting it kind of wrinkled. Uh, it's just a personal preference on what you can do. I prefer just removing it from the backing and putting it straight on. But again, it's a personal preference. I find for both the silhouette and the Amazon uh, printable tattoo paper, the craft board setting is actually really, really good. Now it cuts really well with the silhouette. With the Amazon one, I do find that you need to do a pressure of more. You want to place your printable tattoo paper on a green mat, and then of course, let your Cricut machine do its job. cut out. The easiest way to remove them is to gently just turn your mat over, you don't want to overbend it, and just start removing 
the pieces. So this pile here are the silhouette ones and these ones are the Amazon ones. I will say that the silhouette ones, because they're glossy, they do have a brightness to them that the other ones don't, but there's not a huge amount in it. What I like to do is go in with my applicator and just give them another really, really good rub just to make sure that all the sticky bit from the film transfers onto my image. You're going to need a wet cloth. So this is the Amazon tattoo paper. I want to come in and just remove that film and you will see that it leaves a stick on your image. That's exactly what you want. So I'm just going to put the Amazon one on my other arm. And of course you can see I've been playing. So again, we've got our cloth. It's wet, but it's not soaking wet. It's more damp wet, but it's definitely wet. That makes no sense at all, but it's not dripping wet. About 15 to 20 seconds, you just want to place it on top of the backing paper. You can then come in and just gently remove the backing. So this is the silhouette one and again we're just going to come in and remove that film. Again we've got our damp cloth and again about 15 to 20 seconds along the whole design and just get it nice and wet. You can come in and just pull up. We've lost a little bit there, I obviously didn't uh, press hard enough but hey ho. So there we go, this one is the silhouette and this one is the Amazon. But to be honest, there's not a huge amount in it and for the price difference, if you're going to be doing a lot of these, it's definitely worth looking at the Amazon one. I do like the silhouette one, I think it, they both perform really well, I think they cut really nicely. This one is a little, you need a higher cut setting. Um, but they're pretty much like for like, but they're temporary tattoos. I mean, they're not going to last forever. You'll be lucky to get two or three days out of them. Uh, no, none of these temporary tattoos are very good in water. So as soon as you have a nice hot bath, they're going to start getting watermarks on them. Uh, they're not going to peel off unless you try and peel them. But after a couple of days, they're going to start looking a bit worn and torn. But temporary tattoos will only last a couple of days. I'm actually in love with printable tattoo paper. I think it's amazing. I think for the price, I would definitely be ordering the Amazon printable tattoo paper again. I think you know it's a really reasonable price compared with other tattoo uh, papers out there. I really do like the silhouette one. I think if it's on a special offer, then I will get it. Uh, but I think for you know a couple of days to go on a child, the Amazon one is absolutely perfect.